So, so what we are going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use a signal generator and a scope to find a break in a cable with multiple cores. So what I've done is I've taken this UTP cable, got about two meters of it here, and I've introduced a fault over here. So I've cut the blue wire, okay? So I know that the continuity is gone in this blue wire. So we assume that the test revealed that there's no continuity in the blue wire from here to this end. So we know that we've got to look for a break in that side. So what we've done is over here we've earthed all the remaining cores and we're injecting 2 megahertz signal, 50 volts, into the blue wire over there. So as you can see, over there I'm not picking up anything from this end of the cable. See, not picking anything up. But yet when I bring my antenna near the other end, before the break, we are picking up the signal. So if we were looking for a break in this cable, along trunking, in a vehicle, wherever, we could go hunting for that signal with a scope probe and a sniffer antenna like that. And we'd be able to see where it's broken just by injecting an RF signal and looking for it with a scope. You can see it clear as day. You can see nothing happens on this side. There's nothing coming out because that wire is broken over there. I cut it. All right. So that's our critical demo on using a scope and a signal generator to find a wire break in a cable. Alright. Hope you enjoyed this ladies and gentlemen. Our time is up. Thanks for watching. Take care. And have no awesome any further. I'll see you next time for more awesome stuff. Alrighty. Bye.